Hello everyone, I'm at Pauline's place. I'm sitting against the wall of a house on the concrete because I want to tell you a story. And the story relates to this place in terms of my sitting against a wall on concrete. It's a story that I was a part of this week and I want to share it with you. It was self-revealing and it was also uh, revealing about the society I live in. So here I have in my hand exactly, well, maybe a few cents out, five dollars, all right, five dollars. And I had counted out carefully five dollars to take with me because I was going to get a cup of coffee, but I wasn't going to pay for it with the money. I already had a card in the back of my phone. But there was a man across the street from where I'm working and I often look at him and sometimes I've passed him and he says hello and does mutter quietly, have you got a bit of change? No one has had change during COVID. Hardly anybody wants to handle money and people don't carry it. I wasn't carrying it except I was given a challenge. One of my work colleagues said, Pauline, I dare you to ask that man if he's had his vaccinations. So I said, okay, I will, but I'll take some money with me. So that's what I did. It wasn't so busy and I had about 15 minutes so across the road and went across to see this gentleman. And I said hello, he, he said hello back. And I said, I remembered you, you've been away a few days. He said, I haven't been feeling so well. I said, hey, that's why I've come. I've come to ask you if you've had your vaccinations. And he said, my boss organized for me to have the vaccinations. He got someone to pick me up and I've had both of them. And he produced in a rather treasured way, his card, his vaccination card, very crumpled. And I thought to myself, this is jolly good. I want to know who his boss is because he didn't seem to have a job. He was sitting on the pavement like I'm doing now, but on, on a side street and hoping that he could get some cash. And we talked about that at work, about people bludging, not working. And so I, I knelt down and I said, that's very good news. And he said, do you have any spare change? I said, yes, I, I've got some money for you to have a coffee. And he said, oh, no, I've got a coffee. The people across the road, a very lovely cafe uh, that does, you know, stand on the pavement service. They brought him across a coffee. He said, those people are very good. I said, so, so what's your job? He said, well, sometimes I'm asked to help do some laboring for apartments that are going to be sold. My boss um, finds the job for me and I earn some money that way. And he said, I, I shouldn't be here. I have a place to live, you know. And he pointed up the road to, he said, there's mm -hmm. some, they're owned by a trust. And he said, but since COVID, there's so many arguments and people bang on my door and are fighting and I'm frightened and I can't sleep and I'm worried they'll come and rob me. And so he said, it's quite nice here because people are reasonably friendly. Sometimes they call out to me. I said, I'm very sorry about that. He said, and it's hard, you, you still have to pay rent and you've got your food and your electricity. And he said, I, I, don't, I don't have enough money. And I could see that his life had, his experience of life had, had damaged maybe some of his ability to think rationally. And he certainly didn't feel he had any ability Anyway, we had a nice talk and I said, I, I, I've got $5 here. And I was a bit dishonest. I said, I was going to buy a coffee with this, but you can have it. And I said, you've got a good boss. And I'm gonna tell you who his boss is because some of you will know. He said, my boss is Chris Barfoot, Mr. Barfoot. And some of you might know Barfoot and Thompson, that company. Well, Chris Barfoot is the owner of that company something anyway. Well, wherever you are, Chris Barfoot, this man really thinks 
you've helped him and that you like him and he's a lifeline. Well, that's not all to my story because about one o'clock in the afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon, a man comes to the door of where I'm working and says, is there a lady called Pauline in here? And he had a cup of coffee that would have cost him $5.50. It was for me. Now I tell you, we have a lot of people like that man in New Zealand and he deserves everything Mr. Barfoot makes possible and more. And I think he was like the presence of God in a very needy, mixed up, hypocritical world. That's my story.